Hey Citrus TV alumni, my name is Gabriella Rusk and I'm the Associate General Manager here at Citrus TV and this is our September video newsletter where we want to show rather than tell you all the changes that we've made for Citrus TV. Starting with our front room, we have brand new furniture. Along the walls here, you may recognize the art as they are from our previous sets. In here is our audio booth where we use for live audio for the shows and reporters can use it to record tracks for their packages. Over here we have many editors where all of our members get real world experience using Avid and the Adobe Creative Suites. And on this wall we have three different cork boards for each department where members like to hang up some fun things including some press passes from the games. In our newsroom we have our news director Lauren Anderson. Lauren. Wow. What can you tell us about the Citrus TV News Department? Yeah, thank you, Gabby. The News Department has grown immensely over the past couple years. You come here, you can see Citrus TV News. We have a live half-hour news show every Monday through Friday, and we are your campus news leader. That is with the exception of Tuesday, where Tuesday is Essay Today, which is an update on a student association. Monday through Friday, we also have a news brief, which is a live two-minute quick news update. Citrus TV Noticias is our Spanish newscast. We are one of the only Spanish college newscasts in the country, and we are live for a half hour. And we have Juice and Java. Juice and Java is Syracuse University's only morning talk show where they have on a variety of campus guests. Talking Points is our political talk show. It's a discussion roundtable type setting. Then over here we have our newest show, our newest show, they just started last year's Orange Zest and they are our entertainment news show. You can watch all of our shows on youtube.com slash citrus tv. Thanks Gabby, back to you. Thank you Lauren. So over here, our campus news leaders for the news department are getting ready. Hey guys. Hey. Hey alumni, we're just here in the break room getting ready for our show in a little bit where we're always reminded of citrus tv from the past with our lovely memorabilia wall. That's right, we're going to finish prepping and we will see you soon at our new studio. Thanks guys. Most importantly alumni, we have created in the past with this graduating class of 2015 the Citrus TV alumni wall. Grab your black sharpie and add your name this alumni weekend. Over here, this may look a little more familiar to all of you, is the old editing bay. There's a lot of tapes in there. And over here, our control room is pretty much the same, operating better than ever. And lastly, we're going to head into the set, where Citrus TV News is getting ready for their show. We're going to get started, guys, in three, two, one. And good evening. Thank you so much for joining us from our new set, Lights and All. I'm Hunter Sines. And I'm Jessica Mendelson. Let's start out today with a look at our entertainment department with director Kelsey Clamara. Kelsey? Thanks, Jessica. So in our entertainment department, we now have three shows. We've grown a lot over the past four years. We used to have just one show. So our first one is Syracuse Unpeeled, which is our late night talk show. And we kind of do a little bit of bridging the gap between Syracuse and Syracuse University and the city itself. Then we have Syracuse After Hours, which you might remember as Nolan Void. It's been around for years and is our longest running entertainment show. Then the next one is College Eats, which is our college cooking show. So as you can see, we've grown a lot over the past few years and we're just really proud of how far we've come. Back to you. Thanks, Kelsey. Now let's check in with our sports director, Tim Langlois, who's out in the field. Tim? Thanks, Hunter. And I was told to go outside a sports venue, so we went here to uh, Manly, where we have the new Ensley Athletic Center, where football and lacrosse practice. So fittingly, for just a couple weeks into football, we're outside the Ensley Center. And it's an exciting start to the year here at Citrus for sports in, that, in our department anyway. Our three shows on the bench, Q's Countdown and Orange Press Pass are back in action. They actually began last week with the Wake Forest game. So we just had one week off and went right into shows. Our general interest meeting just happened, so that's an exciting time. New members down, um, so we love to have that happen. Also, basketball preview show is right around the corner, which is crazy to believe that that's already about to happen so it's an exciting time start of the year citrus tv sports the weather is still good otherwise i would not be doing this outside but uh, back to you hunter thanks tim well that's all the time we have in studio today we hope you can make it out on alumni weekend that's october 23rd through the 25th 
for all of us here at Citrus TV, I'm Hunter Sines. And I'm Jessica Mendelson. We'll see you soon.